Why, hello there, old sport. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Lisa, or Lisa the First, as it's now called. Uh, with the definitive edition coming out in a month, I decided it would be fun to, you know, go back through all the games and kind of just play through them. So we have a not an archive, but we have a document, a documented footage of. I, I don't know how to speak. Uh, so we have just uh, we have a playthrough of all the games. Uh, before the change happens, I'm going to be playing through all three games and then stitching them into one supercut. But for now, we're just going to get uh, le we're going to be playing through Lisa the First, uh, re uh, renamed from Lisa after it got some sequels. Uh, I'm going to be going. I'm going to be trying to do everything I can, see everything there is to see, and just kind of trying to quote unquote 100 percent these games while giving some trivia as we go through. Uh, and the first piece of trivia I'm going to share is that this game was based or when asked. During an interview, what inspired this game, Dingling, or Austin Jorgensen, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, uh, said that he was inspired by stories from his ex-girlfriend about her abusive father, and he realized how memories can stick with you and drag you down. But enough of that, let's begin Lisa the First. This is a trash can. He's taken away everything. The sheets are disgusting banana. Uh, and this is the main theme of the game, uh, the Sirene's Call. I'm saying it's Sirene because it has two E's in it instead of Siren. It's locked. He always keeps it locked. And as you see, Brad does not have a room here because he was not created at the time of this game's release. I have no idea what that is. It might be a face. Get back to your room. Uh, if you notice the crosses on the wall over here, that may imply Marty is religious. Uh, you cannot reach the kitchen, he will just catch you. Escaped out into the wilderness. This can only go well. Well, shit. Uh, and if anyone is introduced to the Lisa series through this playthrough, I am glad to introduce you to these games, but please go play them by yourself. But if you're not interested in doing that and just want to see these games, uh, if you're not, have no planning on playing them, uh, I hope I am able to show you a good experience. You're trying to run out on me, aren't you? Then go home, coward. <laughs> You're trying to run out on me, aren't you? You can't run forever. You're wasting your time. Welcome to the lobby. Press escape for the inventory. Press shift to return back to here. Now, if you've played this game, you know where and where not to go, or where you can or cannot go here yet, but uh, let's just explore a little. You don't have a VHS. You need the sword. There's a small hole in the crotch. Okay, with that little adventure over, let's actually start playing the video game. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this earlier, but these white flowers will become a recurring symbol in these games. You got a pair of work gloves. Work gloves makes having makes moving heavy objects possible. Seems Lisa might be sick. Don't mind me. I'm just waiting. I've speed ran this game. My my movement is horrible. Uh yeah. If you did not if uh if you are aware of the game You May Nikki, this game is very similar to that as you may have seen with the whole, you know, lobby nexus, you know, basically a entry point with a bunch of doors. Very similar. Uh, this game is basically a glorified you and Nikki ripoff. But we love it anyways. I really should have gotten water before I'm doing this. My voice is already my throat is already dry. Okay, if you actually uh no clip out of the into the over to that Mar uh or to this man over there. Uh his name is Marty, by the way. Uh, he will call you a cheater, so, uh, don't cheat. You think my struggle is funny? It's urine. I'll give him one thing, he has very good- Actually, no, you only drink alcohol, how is your urine so clear? He's staring directly into the sun. You can't escape. Also just, I like this music, it's very dreary. You want to know a secret? Find the hidden path behind the cement house. There goes the music. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> Yet another cross. Another empty house. Or, I guess the first empty house. That is a very small patio, I guess? It's not really a yard. This is one of the same the one of the statues we saw earlier. The statue stares at you. A nice bonging sound. It's locked. It's funny cuz that's supposed to be a gate but it's just the upper half of a red door. Well, this is the cement house that man met, ta referred to earlier. Ugh, that one sounded worse. Stop talking to me and get me some rum. We have now began our first side quest. Get that asshole some rum. Since this is the cement house that man spoke of, that means there's something behind here. Here. You got a banana. Wow, I got a banana from an old man in the woods. That sounds dirty. Don't worry, it gets worse. Was it worth it? And there we go, it already got worse. A banana. A weird looking banana. Now where could you get some rum? How about a bar? Fuck to fuck ya. Woo! I don't wanna go home. Don't look at me. I don't 
don't think he's breathing. The bartender's gone. Feel it, baby. Ugh. Woohoohoohoohoohoo. He is preoccupied. He is preoccupied. Don't bother me. This fucking guy. That fucker is she, uh. Oh. Looks like he's sitting in a puddle of his own vomit. Or piss. Could be either. Good. If you did not know, that is uh, a grunt from a character from Shimlin 3, 2? I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, we'll get there. Uh, don't worry, that sound effect will return in the future, and I will elaborate it on more later. Yeah, I'm the bartender, what of it? You want rum? Fuck it, here. You got rum. Rum. This looks cheap. Might as well just show you there's nothing up here, but if it kind of gives you a clue on what's that there's a guy there, in case you didn't see the other thing. I, sp I've sp I, I, I think I already mentioned that. You gave him the rum. He gives you a red key. Leave. Rum. The bottle is half empty. Red key. A red key. What of it? The red key breaks. Looks like a little face. Okay, now there's four rocks here, but you only need to move this one to to open this. Hey, can I have your banana? I'll give you something really good in return. Fine. Ah, thanks, here. You got a banana peel. Oh, I can't go to the inventory from here. Here we go. Banana peel, a peel. Again, very simple item description. You'll never forget, you slut. Bad little bitch. I'll always cut through your mind. Doesn't look like we can move forward till he's out of the way. You got a razor. A dull blade. He wants to cut through our mind? Let's cut through his face. That sounded really edgy, I'm sorry. Either way, uh, that this is how we continue. We must uh, remove him. You cut him with the razor. And a new bridge is open for us. Did you really think that would work? I'll never leave you. You'll have to swallow me. Get over it. Gross. That candle sends you back here. Uh, and while I know where I should go next, I'm going to not go there next because I want to show you guys a line of dialogue that is missable because, well, we'll get there when we get there. We'll come back here later because there's something we need to actually, or I can, I can get what I need here. Wrong, wrong door. I've sp I need that banana peel, please. You give him the peel. Thank you. 
There's a napkin here. You take the napkin. Napkin. It's rather clean. Okay, now let's go where I was going to go. Because, uh, hopefully we won't have to return here. Or we'll only have to return here once, I guess. Would be more correct. Welcome to the Bile Town. Hey, you took my toilet, you jackass. Fine. The toilet doesn't deserve to be vomited in anyways. And you can still see the crosses all around here. This place is disgusting. We'll come back to that later. Or I mean, I will revisit what that scene might mean. Oh, someone... More normal, I guess. Give me that napkin. He takes your napkin. I really needed that. You got a finger. Finger. A freshly cut finger. Looks like these things are falling apart. Now this house is kind of weird because uh, the door isn't visible, but you can walk in here. And then you press this to open up the entrance, and the sound effect is delayed. Now you're supposed to come here, uh, this is one of the spider sections, which are very... They could be designed better, and they're what makes this game not very fun to play. But, uh, you're supposed to come here after, uh, another spider section, but... We're doing a little bit of sequence breaking, so we can get one line of dialogue. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make a spider counter. Uh, so that's one. That is two. That is three. Sorry, I'm not going to talk too much, I want to concentrate. So I think I'm on three deaths right now. I'll fix it in editing if I get it wrong. Damn it. At least we don't have to move the rock back. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. And, uh, okay, that makes things a little bit more messy, but we will deal with it. Damn it. Yeah, see, the, the rock was... I would rather the rock uh, catch the spider on the other side. I'd rather it would have caught him, uh, the spider would have gone under. I moved too soon. Oh yeah, I forgot to count, uh, I'll count later when I'm editing. Or I'll just be lazy and have the YouTube comments count for me. I have to move the rocks very carefully because I haven't given myself very much room. I should have gotten caught there. Yeah, that's going to be a tricky little movement I have to do. But I have confidence in myself. Of course, I only have confidence when it comes to playing old RPG Maker games, not doing anything, you know, actually useful. There we go. Actually, I could have moved that. There's a space here. I didn't have to move it that much. Okay. Here's our one line of dialogue. I will take your breath away. 
Yep, we did all that just for that. Uh, we will come back here later to, to kill him, like we did that first one. But that is much later. First, we have to come here. He takes the finger. In return, you got a VHS tape. Marty. Now, there's a few things I want to make sure I find here before we move on. Hello, Marty. You're looking less awful than usual. Actually, I don't... What, what does that even mean? What, what does this mean? What? Lisa? Lisa, are you okay? Please, uh... I don't know what's happening there. I'm not going to pretend I do that. No, though. The... Now to make things sad. We go from the blank road to the... I think this is just called the evil road in the files. I've, uh, I'll, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. <laughs> Lee, of course you throw out the toilets covered in... Bile, I guess, uh... There's that cross again. Everything has gone off. Everything's gone, uh, dirty, I guess. The water's polluted the... Well... I made a wrong step somewhere. I think this tree is where I'm supposed to go. That is not where I'm supposed to go. I've speedrun this game. I think I've said that already. Where is the trapdoor? Not a trapdoor? Uh... God, this music actually sounds pretty <laughs> creepy. <laughs> Or, I mean, I like that part. It sounded like a moan of some sort. Here we go. Yeah, listen to that. It sounds like something, like, kind of moaning pain or... Actually, considering what we're gonna learn later, uh, that may be something else. You got a plastic bag. Plastic bag. A large bag large enough to fit over a head. That is no negative implications. You play the VHS, Marty. The plastic tea set. Looks like they're having a tea party. I pressed the wrong button. Turns out, <laughs> an RPG Maker game from the early, <laughs> from made in the 2003 engine has some bugs. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? Wrong door again. I keep going in that door incorrectly. I was not. I did not mean to go in there. Actually, I don't need to go here yet. We can go back to the Bile Road. Or not the Bile Road. The Anyway, take this plastic bag. You got a VHS. We will return there later. I am not dealing with this. I It won't let me go to the lobby. Okay, wait, there we go. Uh, okay, now let's go over here. I'm playing this game completely out of order. Or, I guess the inefficient order. You hack away with your razor. Now remember the other spider section that was, you know... Actually, I think this is the better spider section. Uh, anyways, uh, there's definitely not a jump scare here. I mean, I wouldn't really count that as a jump scare. It's kind of just a bunch of spiders. I guess if you have arachnophobia, it'd be a jump scare. 
Uh, this is the worst room in the game if you're trying to speedrun because of this motherfucker over here. Because he moves very randomly and very sporadically. Please leave me alone. I'm going to try to get you caught on a block. And god damn it. Please get out of the way. Thank you. I don't want to deal with you. Fuck off, please. Ow. Why did I say ow? Nothing... <laughs> I, I do that when I play video games. I'll just say ow whenever something hits me, even though I have no reason to. That spider counter better be... You know what, I'll just... Instead of making a new graphic... Because uh, I'm thinking about how I'm going to edit this in my head. Uh, instead of just making a new graphic, I'll just... Uh, what's it called? Actually, we'll, we'll do that. Damn it. I'm usually very good at this. I have the world record in the... I have the world record in this game for one of the categories for speedrunning. I'm not... I know how to play the video game. Please. Please believe me. This room is just very RNG based, which is really bad if you're trying to speedrun a video game. Like, look at that. Like, sometimes he'll just get stuck there, and he'll just keep going on those tiles over that little gap you need to get over here. So he'll just... He'll just kind of lock you and wait, may force you to wait. Now, fun fact, this is a sped up version of another song called Angry, which in the... Do you want to know what this song is called? It's called Angrier. How creative. We found a bottle of pills. Bottle of pills. Some of his old pills. Taking pills and alcohol together. What a healthy combination, I guess. That's a joke, because it's not healthy whatsoever. I'll play the Rick VHS tape after we slaughter him. You stuff the pills down his throat. You got a sword. Sword. An eastern looking sword. VHS. Tricky Rick. You played the VHS Tricky Rick. Oh, hi! My name is Rick. I like exploring caves. I like friction. Oh, and I'm a sensitive guy as well. But you already knew all that, didn't you? I hope to see you again soon. Don't run too far. I'll be waiting. Uh, now is uh, part of the time I... Pr I'll put in a warning at the beginning of the video. Uh, the Lisa series handles uh, sexual assault, and it does it quite bluntly. Now, something... Now, some may find uh, that kind of unnecessary or graphic, but... Uh, and this may just be me defending a video game that's 10 years old, uh, but I think showing how awful this can, or even how off, or how fraction of, or even a fraction of how awful this can be to survivors is a good way to teach uh, people how bad this can be. Or I mean, like, just showing a fraction of how bad it can be can be a good learning resource for those who are unaware. Now, obviously, to survivors of sexual assault, uh, this is not a game you should play because it can bring up some bad memories for you, but, uh, if you didn't, uh, if you didn't, now, uh, if you don't understand why I'm going on about this, uh, tri uh, Tricky Rick, as he's called, has quite a phallic head, if you didn't notice, and the combination of friction, exploring, quote-unquote, caves, and being sensitive, uh, well, he's supposed to be a personification of a penis, if you didn't get that, uh, implying some not very good things, but we will expand upon that later, and I don't mean an expand- I'm gonna shut up before I say something really bad. Remember how this uh, statue has a hole in the crotch? Again, implying some not very good things. A dining room. A pl it's plastic. Even as shiny as this place is, it's still very cheap. More of those statues. A useless room. A useless room. A useless room.
even in a place as clean and beautiful as this, Lisa can only vomit. Disgusting. N not Lisa, this place I mean. Looks like a vanity. And a bed big enough for two people. Now this room in the files is called Inside Him. Got a necklace. Necklace, something you cherish very much. Now if you notice, there was a lot of candles there. We'll get to that. After killing Rick those three times, we're back at home. No TV static. No sirens call. But it all comes back eventually. <laughs> You're wasting your time. You really don't get it, do you? You really thought you could forget? Why are you trying so hard? Accept it. You can't fight something that already happened. There is no understanding. No purpose. There is only one life, and this one is yours. Accept it. I'm here to stay. The end. Or is it? You got a VHS. Lisa, is that you? Lisa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lisa, I didn't want to leave. Lisa, I didn't want to die. Lisa, I love you. Don't go. You can't. You can't run.
game over. Well, that was our first chapter, or more, prologue, of the story of Lisa. Now, if you want me to just go ahead and explain the story for you, uh, I guess I could. Now, there's, uh, er, okay, before I begin, there's some ambiguity about what that ending means, but I would like to point out some things that other people have already pointed out, but I'm just going to point them out here. When, in that first ending, it just says the end. Lisa has resigned herself to the future, to a future of abuse by the hands of her father, Marty. But in that other ending, we get game over. Now what does game over mean? When do game overs in video games usually happen? When you die. Unable to take the torment of the sexual abuse, physical abuse, lack of food or drink, Lisa committed suicide. Game over. And as that ending implies, Lisa at one point had a mother, and uh, that mother, due to the line, I didn't want to die, I'm assuming Lisa's mother either died, uh, or getting into a headcanon here, I believe that Lisa, or Lisa's mother died in childbirth, uh, hence why she doesn't know what her face looks like, all she knows is that she, she might have looked like me with long black hair. Maybe she saw an old blue dress that Marty still had in the house, who knows. But either way, even though the story holds her name, Lisa's story is over. And the rest of our story is what is about those she left behind. Three men. Okay, uh, now all to, now the dramatic stuff is over. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you join me for the rest of the Lisa series. Uh, I'm going to call this Lisa the Playthrough, and then or Lisa the Let's Play, and then I'll call the Supercut of all three games at once Lisa the Supercut, probably, to fit with the Lisa the insert word here, naming scheme. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.